So here in this video, we're gonna have a look at how we can use ChatGPT to customize HTML elements for Moodle. So we are gonna be creating one of these accordion expanding boxes, but we wanna be able to customize the number of accordion items we have. So I have a short piece of code, which will give us basically one expanding accordion within Moodle. And I'll leave this code below. This is kind of the starting point for this. And um, if we add this in Moodle, I'll just come to one of my topics here. We've got edit mode turned on up at the top right, and we'll come and add an activity or resource. So we'll add a page in here. So we'll call this expanding box one, and I'm gonna scroll down to my content here. We'll drop down our arrow here so we can access the HTML. And in here, I'm gonna paste in my accordion box. So if we come back to the main page, you can see I've got this one expanding box. Now, the nice thing about these expanding boxes, the accordion boxes within Moodle, is that once we've added them, we can go ahead and edit them as normal. So we can type in edit as normal, we can dive in here, we can add images, we can modify the title here and make any adjustments we want. What gets a bit trickier is if we want to duplicate this box. So if we come back to the HTML, the problem is, is that if we just paste this HTML in again, both of these boxes have the same identifier. So when I open one or close one, you can see it's opening and closing them both. So that's not great. So we definitely don't want that. So we'll just save and display this. And then we'll come back to our topic four, where we'll add a new activity or resource. We'll add another page. So we'll call this expanding boxes, 10 sections. We're gonna put 10 sections into our expanding boxes. So what we're gonna do here now is jump into ChatGPT. So essentially here we're gonna ask ChatGPT to extend the code that we paste in below into 10 different expanding sections. So we'll type that in and then paste in our original chunk of HTML, click go. So now that ChatGPT has generated that, we can click the copy button down here. We'll come back into Moodle, expand out our page editor and come into the HTML. We'll select all this and delete it and then paste in our code. So we're going to just delete the little chat GPT notation at the beginning and the end and come out of HTML. We'll then scroll down. You can see it's created titles for each of those sections. Obviously we can rename those and change the emojis if we want to. But if we save and display this, you can see we've got those 10 different sections in our Moodle page nicely formatted. Perhaps we even want to use some of these different titles that it's created in here. So it's actually got some, some kind of nice useful things like overview, reading materials, assignments. So it's broken it down quite nicely to give us hints about what we could include within that page. Now, if we come back to ChatGPT, we can take this a step further. I'm going to ask it to create five sections, each with two subsections. So now that that's completed, you can see it's created those five sections uh, with each with two subsections in the HTML. I'm going to copy that. We'll come back to Moodle and we'll come back to our topic four. I'm going to add a new page and we'll call this collapsing topics, five sections with subsections. We'll scroll down and we'll add this into our HTML. So delete the original little chunk that was there, paste that in, and then we'll go to save and display. And now you can see in each of these five sections, we have two subsections that we can add content into. And again, ChatGPT's kind of detected what it is we're mapping out doing. I think I may have had learning outcomes or something learning related in my original expanding box. Um, so yeah, so it's kind of taken that learning outcomes piece and expanded it out into other subtitles and subsections that you would normally find within an educational resource like this. So super useful way of using AI to create content for your Moodle. And as we mentioned, once we come into the settings, we don't need to jump into the HTML code. We can scroll down, we'll expand this page out. We can just jump right in here edit in here, we can add images in here within these expanding boxes, and so on and so forth. So super easy to begin to kind of map out content and add content 
and organize content within Moodle using these accordion style expanding boxes. We're getting ChatGPT to customize them for us based on what we need for particular parts of our course. So hopefully this is useful. If you do have any questions, then please do leave them below. I'll also leave a link to the original snippet of code below. If you do have any questions, then please do get in touch.